Hey everybody, it's Ross, and uh, I wanted to share something before I'm doing some reading. I'm having some issues in my life, some health issues and some other issues. Everybody does, right? Just because you're a Christian, you're not immune. And so I needed some comfort. Where do you go for comfort? Magazines, TV, turn the TV off as, and open the book as I always say for me. But I'm going through some some issues. We all have them. We all go through them. We get it. But I wanted to have some comfort. Spent some time at the doctor's office today. Got some other stuff coming up. You know, the older you get, your body is, you know, you get it too. But I wanted to find comfort in the Word, the Scriptures, the inerrant, the infallible, the authoritative Word of God. I believe in the sufficiency of the Scriptures. That's an old old doctrinal statement that I believe that God's Word addresses every area of human existence. Now, does it tell me to go down the block and turn right? That kind of thing. But it, it will address our problems that we have and give us comfort and direction. And so I needed some comfort. I just needed to, to, to rest in the Word of God. And, and, it, and the Lord put me on Romans 8, 8.18. And it, my, my title is The Future Glory. Listen to it. Yet what we suffer now is nothing compared to the glory He will give us later. See, there He goes. Yet what we suffer, He doesn't say that Christians won't suffer. Uh, don't believe what you see on TV on people that say when you're a Christian, everything is perfect, and if you're sick, you're lacking faith. That is unbiblical and untrue. So it says here, now that we suffer, but... Nothing is compared. Nothing is compared to the glory we will give us later, later on. Say later. That's all I say when I preach. For all creation is waiting eagerly for the future day when God will reveal who his children really are. If you get to heaven and God says, enter in, you've made it. Your faith is validated, as I say. So real Christians, real children of God, they make it to the pearly gates of heaven. They spent eternity in paradise. And he goes, against its will, everything on earth was subjected to God's curse. Sin, right? Don't die in your own sins. If you're not a Christian, be a, become a Christian. Repent and believe. All creation anticipates, listen to this, in verse 21. All creation anticipates the day when it will join God's children in glorious Glorious, say glorious. It's not glorious down here on this sin fallen world. It says, in its glorious freedom, you're free in Christ. What, to sin more? No. People say, I heard it down in prison one time I was preaching. The guy says, people that have been saved and they go on sinning and it doesn't bother them, they, he called it greasy grace. Check it out. If you're sinning as a Christian and it doesn't bother you, something's very wrong. I hate sin. 1 John 3 talks about that. But I want, a, I want an encouragement. And I got it from here. God's children in His glorious freedom from death and decay. There be no death or decay. My, my body is decaying day by day, but my spirit is renewed day by day. Interesting, right? For we know that all creation has been groaning as in the pains of childbirth. Listen right up to the present time. So you and I, we're decaying. We have our groans. We have our problems. We're not free from illness or you know all the problems that we have on this earth. But this is the encouragement I needed. And even we Christians, listen to him, the anointed writings of the Apostle Paul, and even we Christians, although we have the Holy Spirit, I like to say Holy Spirit. For we know that all creation has been groaning. We have the Holy Spirit within us. What does Holy Spirit do? God, Holy Spirit, it's, it keeps us from temptation. It, it, I always say, Lord, saturate me with your spirit, my mind, my thoughts, my actions, my words. Consume me with your spirit. God the Holy Spirit, within us, foretaste of future glory. Wow. Future glory. Glory is not down here. Watch. 
although we have the Holy Spirit within us as a foretaste of future glory. Wow, it's just a, it's just a touch. If you're going through troubles and trials, down, we have a, a, just a glimpse, like a taste here on earth to our future glory. But we have, watch it, he answers all the, all the questions. I needed this today, big time. Also grown to be released from pain and suffering. I'm reading it verse by verse. To be released from pain and suffering for, for good. This, is, this has been powerful for me today because I've had some pain. I've had some suffering. Present day, I've had it in the past. I'm sure I'll have it in the future. But this is powerful. Also grown to be released from pain and suffering. To be released of pain and suffering when you get to heaven, there'll be no pain. There'll be no suffering. There'll be no tears. We too wait anxiously. That's a confident expectation for the day when God will give us our full rights as children of God. Full rights. When you get to heaven, full rights becomes yours. Your faith is no longer needed because your faith is validated. You no longer need hope because your hope is validated. Your confident expectation of what God's word says is true. But one thing that will last forever, and you know what it is, is the L word, love. Love is eternal. God is love. So that's one thing that you will have for eternity, and it will be perfect like God, including the new bodies. Oh, this is what really got me today. Listen to it. Including the new bodies. Boy, what a, what a wonderful meditation. The new bodies that he has promised us. I need it. I'm longing for that day because it's been a tough road. I'm getting up there in age, way past middle age. And so I'm looking forward to what this, this verse and passage says, including the new bodies he has promised us. You know, you'll be like Christ for eternity. Absolutely perfect. That's an, a, a great meditation when you're, when you're suffering here on this earth, knowing that you will be like Christ, the resurrected, ascended Christ. The Christ is at the throne of God, your Savior and Lord. You will be like him for eternity. It's powerful. And this is exactly what I needed. When, you, when you're having pain and suffering in your life, go to the Word for comfort. Go to God's Word. Let Him speak to you through His Word. Now that we are saved, hopefully you are. If you're not, go to needgod.com and get saved today. We eagerly look forward to this freedom. Lots of freedom. Freedom, there will be no sin, no temptation, no sickness. You get it. For if you already have something, you don't need to hope for it. Well, we hope Hope in a Christian's experience is confident expectation. It's not like, I hope it rains tomorrow, or I hope I get a new job. That's a different kind of hope. We hope in what the Word of God says is true. Do you believe it or not? I do. But if we look forward to something we don't have yet, we must wait, this is the P word, patiently and confidently. Yep. That's, I need more patience. That's one of the fruit of the Spirit. And being confident. You're confident, not boastful. Boastful is not of God. Being confident in what? Yourself? Your own abilities? No, I'm not confident at all in that. I'm confident in what the Word of God says is true. And then I'm confident that what He says will come and it will be true. It, it, will, it will be manifested one, one day, but right now it's being manifested while I'm here, decaying, but being renewed. It's, it's an awesome meditation, especially when you're going through pain and suffering. Many of my friends are, I am, I have a lot of situations and circumstances, but I want to encourage you when you're going through pain and when you're going through suffering, go to God's word and find comfort in God's word. So till next time, thank you for letting me share my heart, my thoughts, and the Word of God with you. I hope it helped you. If it helps you, write me anytime. Look me up on Facebook. Tell me what your thoughts are. Until next time, God bless you and your family. Take care.